first question has got to be, how do you like your eggs boiled hard or soft? That bacon egg sandwich was perfect. It was exactly the way I like it. But that doesn't mean to say it's perfect for you. I was going to say, it's no use hiding in here. You see, the thing is, it's like reviews. They're, one person does that review. We watch, they're massively watched. They're the most viewed content on my platform. And there's no doubt it is the most popular type of content in the golf YouTube world. Everybody loves watching product reviews. We're obsessed. But that major fault is that it's one person testing. It's one person's opinion. It's one person's set of data. And arguably, it is nothing like what yours would be. Was this your day off? <laughs> but there is always one really interesting piece of information for me that does speak volumes for the masses and it's where we can all learn a lot. You see, I did a recent review of two products that I was surprised at their performance. It was the Srixen ZX5 and the Srixen ZX7. First of all, they've been massively viewed in terms of uh, my channel, but it was the feedback that really interested me. And it got me asking this question as to where I am today is that a singular opinion is one thing, but an opinion from the masses really starts to tell a tale and there's a way you can find that opinion from the masses if you just take a little bit of time and you can find them in these reviews. You see, the thing is, what you need to consider when you're watching reviews is the similarities between my swing and yours are, well, hopefully not that great because uh, nobody wants to swing like mine. Maybe things like, um, swing speed or club head speed in relation to ball speed that's something that's quite interesting and to see the performance of things like launch angle and land angles the spin number that i achieve and again if you've watched kind of uh, the variables within my data over the years then you can certainly learn something from the reviews in terms of how a product has compared to previous tests that maybe i've done and others obviously but i always say whenever i do a review the real caveat is always like this is the, this, these numbers are very subjective. They're my numbers with the swing that I had on that day. But the point is, why did this video shock me so much? Or two videos in particular. And like I said, it was a Srixen ZX5 and ZX7. The reason it shocked me was the comment section. When you get comments, what you'll normally get is a fairly, I'd say, biased view in some ways because Obviously, everybody loves the product they've got in their bag because that's what they bought. It makes perfect sense. So sometimes if you're critical towards one product that happens to be the product that they have in the bag, they might be a little bit offended by that and rightly so, but that doesn't mean to say uh, it's any less right for them. It goes back to what I said. I might find a product not suitable for me, but for others, it's absolutely perfect. That's the way this whole thing works. But the ZX5 and ZX7 had a universal response. If you look at some of these comments that I throw up for you, and when I say some of them, these comments are pretty much across the board, and that was the shock, in that everybody who has tried this range was blown away by it. And that's the bit that shocks me the most, and the bit that I think that you can learn. When you look at the reviews, look at the comments. Look at the comments from the masses. Have a quick scroll through and just see what the majority of people are saying. And I think that way you get a more a better cross section. It'll be different handicaps. It'll be different people who want different things from their clubs. So it goes away from what I've said in the review. And that's why I always encourage comments to come in because like I said, that's where you can gauge, get some great feedback from your fellow golfers and make some better informed choices as to what you might want to go and try. Because ultimately you've still got to go and try those products yourself. On the ZX5 and ZX7, everybody commented on how they felt. There was another thing that was thrown in there. Without doubt this year, 
the people, the, the hottest irons for me in terms of popularity and positive response have been the Mizuno GPX range, which again comes up constantly in the comments. And it was that and this Strixon ZX5. And even the people that had tried the Mizuno range, nothing feels like a Mizuno. I mentioned that in the review. Again, for me, the best feeding irons that are out there, but that now has changed because the ZX7 in particular for me, slightly, I, I preferred it again, my preference, that smaller profile, absolutely butter soft. The way these things felt was incredible. And like I said, that's an overriding comment that you see throughout the, 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 the both videos. Honestly, I can't believe, I keep seeing the comments come up and they say the same things. The people that have tried them are blown away. So for me, that is the bit where we can learn not from what the individual reviewer says, but look at the comments, look at that comment section and read a cross section of what your fellow golfers are saying. And trust me, I've thrown a few examples of those comments up today, but if you wanna go back to the ZX5 and ZX7 reviews, take a look through those and you'll see that what I'm saying is that without doubt, it's, the, and again, let's make thing, one thing clear. I've got no allegiance, uh, alliances with any brand whatsoever. Um, so I ain't promoting uh, the, uh, the, this brand at all, but I can assure you their response has been incredible right across the board. If I told you I lit that fire purely for this video alone, it's something like 11 o'clock in the morning, no need to light it, but I must say I do love a fire. That's me done. Sid has helped me um, dispatch of a ton of logs this morning. We're all ready, we're all ready for the winter and uh, we're all ready for the match at 12.30 today, which is Liverpool v Brighton. That's next on the agenda. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. The comments, like I said, down below are to help your fellow golfers. Always remember that, that's what they're there for. They're not to abuse me. Right, see you later. How good is that?